Advent season is all about reflecting on how we can prepare our hearts for the coming of our Lord. Pope Francis says, It is a journey towards the horizon of hope. It is the season for remembering God's closeness to us by coming down to dwell among us. So, Advent is both a time of God's closeness to us and our watchfulness before He comes. Being watchful in expectation of His coming, the Pope continues, means not letting ourselves be overcome by discouragement, but it is to live in hope. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. My God is the joy of my soul, for he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. Responsorial Psalm My soul rejoices in my God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant From this day, all generations will call me blessed. My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. My soul rejoices in my God. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. My soul rejoices in my God. The second reading is from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything, retain what is good, refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, Be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levite to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? 
And he said, "I am not. Are you a prophet?" He said, "No." So they said to him, "Who are you, so we can give an answer to those who sent us? What do you have to say for yourself?" He said, "I am the voice of one crying out in the desert." Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, "Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet?" John answered them, "I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize. The one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie." This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. Do you know the favor of the Lord? Every 50 years the people of Israel were commanded to celebrate a jubilee year. A year of favor by the Lord. God did not want his people to forget all the blessings and favors he had shown them over the years. Isaiah prophesied in a year of jubilee that God would send his anointed one to bring his people back to their time of exile. The anointed one would bring good news, news of freedom for those who were oppressed by sin. Darkness, despair, and brokenness. When John the Baptist announced the imminent coming of God's anointed one, the Messiah, the religious leaders questioned his authority to speak so boldly in God's name. They asked him bluntly, "Who are you, and what do you say about yourself?" They wanted to know if he was really sent by God. Did he claim to be the Messiah or one of the great? Prophet, who was expected to return and announce the Messiah's arrival, John had no doubt and no mistaken identity about his call and mission. In all humility and sincerity, he said he was only a voice bidding people to get ready for the arrival of the greatest ruler of all, God's anointed King and Messiah. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, make me herald of your word of truth and grace. Help me to be a faithful witness of the joy of the gospel and to point others to you as John did through his testimony. Amen. Music